Hi, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we have completed uh, the plumber plug part number two, that is cap. Now, in this video, we are going to see how to mo uh, modeling the part number three, that is part number four, that is bearing bottom half, and this is bearing top half. As you can see in the figure, this is the front view and this is the side view. So this is look like a semicircular nature and this inside diameter is 25 and this diameter is 35 this is 38 50 and this in the side view the width is here to here it's 22 this is 36 and 50 now you can observe in the sketch that so this is the center and this is look like symmetrical on either left side as well as right side therefore we can do uh, only either right side and after that we can do mirror in the short lead short lead because i'm going to take right side now so that right side the the basic sketch we can see we neglect the first holes and all and the basic sketch will be look like this so that is this one hatching part hatching part so therefore uh, now the dimension is from here it is 12.5 how is 12.5 25 divided by 2 12.5 35 divided by 2 17.5 and 38 divided by 2 19 and 50 that is 25 as well as this width this is 11 18 and 25 how is 11 this is 22 divided by 2 11 36 divided by 2 18 and 50 divided by 2 25 now we are going to draw this in a this in uh, in a uh, top view plane so let me see how to execute into the uh, uh, in a solid edge. Let's get into the in solid edge. So let me take the now it is a circular nature. Therefore, we need to select the revolving solution. Now here we are going to taking a sketching plane as top view plane. And now we are going to draw this the basic sketch using a line command without any dimension. So let me draw that. Okay. Now we are going to give a dimension. So what are the dimension? So from here to it is here. From center to this will be how much? That is 12.5. Next. From here to here it is around 17.5 from here to here it is around 19 and here to here this center will be around 25 so also we are giving the now dimension to this from here to this end will be around 11 that is 20 divided by 2 and from this edge to this center edge will be around 18 that is 36 divided by 2 as well as from this end to this end will be around 25 that is 50 divided by 2. Now basis sketch is done. Let me select the axis as revolving axis as this axis. Now let me go to the return and we are going to give a angle as 180 degree. So this is what we are going to do now bearing bottom off. So therefore, now in this we done the right up portion. Now left up portion we are going to mirror this. So therefore, select mirror option. It will ask the feature. Click on this protrusion and switch on this called mirror copy command and select the coincident plane. This one. Now this is completed. Now next. So next thing is as you can observe here. In the bearing bottom now there will be one protrusion is there from this edge it is of a depth of 5 mm and the diameter is 6 so in order to do this let me keep it in a front view so as I already told you the holes as well as protrusion is not going to be created on this curvature surface so in order to do that we need to create a parallel plane first so therefore I'm going to take here a parallel plane option and click on this and so we are going to take up so we know up to here it is 17.5 and 17.5 plus this 6 mm 
depth. Sorry, 5 mm depth. That is 75.5 plus 5 mm. That is 22.5. We are going to create a parallel plane for a height of 22.5. Now I'm going to take a protrusion command and I'm going to take a select this parallel plane as a sketching plane. And next I'm going to take a one circular circle of diameter. Diameter is around uh, 6 mm. Diameter is around 6 mm. Now come to return. Now this is very important. Now we are going to give here through next comment. Don't give the 6 mm because 6 mm if you give it, it will give an error of like a zero thickness. Therefore, we have to give a option called here through next. Therefore, what we'll do? So the software it going to generate the protrusion up to the next surface and which is coinciding exactly with the curved surface. So like this, we need to do it. So by this, we completed the bearing bottom up. Let me save this. So go to save command. As I already explained you, for each one, please give a title name. That is very important because to generate the <coughs> bill of material, uh, it is very useful uh, in the 2D drawing. So now we are going to give it as bearing bottom up. Press OK. Now let me give it same name here, bearing. bottom up. okay now next one is bearing top up so in bearing top up it is the same replica of this but the thing is it is 180 degree we given now we need to give a minus 180 degree and also there will be a hole is there instead of protrusion here the same 6 m diameter hole is there therefore what we need to do is instead of doing from the beginning you go to file save as and now you can give the name as bearing top up then click save now i'm going to take the copy of this file now here i'm going to delete this protrusion so I'll delete this as well as i'm going to delete the this one also parallel plane which is created for the bottom up now click on the protrusion now in that you give as edit edit definition now here you can select this real extent step so now here instead of top 180 degree we given now we have to uh, bottom 180 given for the previous one now we give us top 180 degree so now let me finish our right click so now what will happen the bearing bottom up is created so now we need to create a hole for this same thing so as you can see here that's the hole should be created from this edge for a depth of up to here that is this is the hole also diameter of 6 mm and up to it is depth is 5 mm. so therefore what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a again one parallel plane so this parallel plane i'm going to take it here so from here to here as you can see now it is up to here the distance is 17.5 but again up this edge will not going to generate because it is a curvature so therefore what we have to do we are going to give an extra up to here it is 17.5 plus addition to 1 mm that is 18.5 18.5 i'm giving it delete i think two planes are created it's okay i'll delete this so select the plane plane and now we'll keep up to it is 17.5 plus 1 mm that is 18.5 so now i'm going to take a whole command select parallel plane as a sketching plane and go to whole option now here plane whole as around 6 mm and the depth how much we need to give or uh, you can give full 
in through next review next come to return now what should we do it on the browser side sorry let's escape i need to create a wall this wall select this way as a first line Okay. Now here the wall should be placed here, and this diameter it is around six mm. Go to wall option. Turn wall option. That is six mm. Go to return. Keep tabs. It is done. Now it is done. Therefore, now what I'm going to do? I'm going to save this now. Save as already saved, right? Again, one more time. You just click. Therefore, what are the things we done? It's going to be updated. Don't forget to save it. So this completes the. The plumber block part number three as four that is bearing bottom up as well as top. Thank you.